Today's random spot will be having a look at Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Popcorn. <laughs> Our naturally simple, totally fantastical, you can tell Spot's happy when he starts seeing made up words. Fantastical. I love making up words. I imaginate words all the time. Zero trans fat, cholesterol free, whole grain, certified gluten free. Also, the name obviously draw, drew Spot's attention to this as well. On the back of the bag, it's time you had a fairy snack mother. Snacking is the best part about life. It should be both delicious and carefree. Like magical yoga pant material or weird nail polish colors, that's why Angie's set out to make a light, tasty treat that satisfies without triggering post-snack guilt. Always simple, always real, free of gluten, trans fat, and preservatives, Angie's Boom Chicka Pop has all the delish that comes from being made with simple ingredients you'll love. Geez Louise, at only 35 calories per cup, stop reading this and start snacking already. Understood, Angie. Let's get this opened up. There's also a little tear at the top, so Spot has to put little effort, though I ripped half the bag. Reaching into the bag. Not a big popcorn fan, but uh, you never know. I might actually enjoy this quite a bit. Having said that, let's give this a try. Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Popcorn. Let's give this a try. If I had been eating it and you had abruptly had it hit like a buzzer, if you went like this into the spot, quick, quick tell us what it's about, I would have said, eh, it doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor to it. Had you allowed me the extra couple of seconds after consuming that piece, right at the end, there's a real pop, almost like what's in the bag here. There's a little pop of sea salt on the end. It's got a really almost satisfying pop on the end of that flavor. Initially, it doesn't taste like much at all. It tastes like just a very, very uh, light, light tasting popcorn. But on the end, on the end of that, there's some good flavor. It's only at the end. It's only at the end. Would I eat an entire bag of these? That is possibly debatable. While there is that nice sea salt flavor on the end, truth be told, it's still not incredibly strong flavored. And for me, when I consume popcorn, I like to have a little more a little more zest, a little more oomph in my popcorn. If they had added some sort of butter, all the natural and healthy choice of it would probably be gone. But that probably could have helped this. As it stands though, it's not bad popcorn. If you're a popcorn fan, you probably would enjoy this. As somebody who just casually tries popcorn, you might find it doesn't have not nearly enough flavor to it. But it's still pretty good. Today's random spot, we're having a look at Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Popcorn. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned. Spot's got more random spots heading your way. See you next time. Thousand videos, now that's dedication. It's more than a video, that's a creation that he is making. From experience, here he is. You're curious of what his appearance is. Serious, yet he makes it fun to watch. A lot of reviewers are delirious. Well, some get props. When did a man is hot? The spot's not a man to flop. Respects the fans who watch, couldn't guess the next random spot. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army is now taking over. I bet you're confused. Check the reviews. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army.